We are Story Fandom, and we are here with a special guest for Sora Online Abridged Episode 6. Hi, hey. special guest. Okay. Now, <laughs> don't worry, he's seen all of this, because I showed it to him forever ago. And I tried to show his mother forever ago, and her reaction was, <laughs> I was doing an impression, but there you go. <laughs> what? So... <laughs> Um, going to episode six, it has actually been... That's my personality on here. Just so you know. I'm here. Look. <laughs> you made my shame and run away. <laughs> <laughs> my God, that was a dream. <laughs> okay. So what do you remember of <coughs> the last episode, sweetie? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was watching myself because it looks funny. <laughs> um, it was the cliffhanger when the dude was like hanging with the sword in his chest and all that stuff. The chick fell out the window. And he was like, it's fine, no one get out of here. All that stuff. And all that jazz. Heartbroken. 
get up with a sandwich than anything else. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Griselda. I've never meant for anything to happen to you. Just do anything to make it right. Please. Oh, really? <laughs> what did you do to me, Schmidt? What did you do? Griselda! Oh, God! Please don't kill me! Don't do anything! Answer the question, Schmidt. What did you do? What do you want? Scouts? I think you just scouts! What? No! No, no, no. We just want to know. Oh, I see. You are an orphan blood man. Do you prefer your victims pre drained? Or do you like to get your hands dirty? Jesus Christ, Schmidt! Oh, so you like the crucify? Well, that would be a good figure, but I'm trying to work something out. Just yeah, stop! Uh, huh? Yoko? Cummings? Yeah, it's us, you idiot! Oh. So, where are we on the whole orphan blood thing? You talking heads or leaders? For the love of- we're not ghosts! We fake our deaths! Seriously, Schmidt, how many people would you have killed if we'd asked you to? That's not important. I disagree! <laughs> <laughs> Now, 
That's cool. I don't think I'm cool about this. You know, it's a sound ungrateful, Fairy Tail, but what are you doing here? Why, Oko, we've come this far. I wasn't about to miss the end game. I'm sorry, what are you- Well, you see, I suspected all along that Kaiser's death was nothing more than news. The safe zone surrounding the town is an immutable law of this game. Even still, that red show you put on was quite convincing. So, I did a little digging, and lo and behold, turns out that 457 has this fascinating little glitch that swaps the boring old teleport animation for the snazzy death version. The real kicker? The glitch only works if the game thinks you're in free fall. Like, say, and I'm just spitballing here, you were to hang yourself from a bell tower, or perhaps take a smart night by the window. Pair that with a well-hidden teleport crystal, and you'd have an instant rescue from mysterious death. Serves so one for conspirator, may contain trace amounts of COVID! But like I said in the hotel room, I just wouldn't have to follow the rules of the game. How did you realize I was lying? Ah, well, that part was quite simple. You see, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Pine. I thought it was clever. Of course, I do have some evidence, if you're into that sort of thing. After your quote-unquote death, I left out the window to give chase after your parents' killer. As I watched them get away, my first thought was, why would a ghost need a teleport crystal? My second thought was, oh shit, window. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, much like that window, the cracks in your facade started to form. Your reaction when I suggested Kynes faked his death, and a barely hidden disdain for Schmidt, the stupid ghost thing, it all made sense. You and Kynes were in this together, and for whatever reason, you had decided to fake your deaths. Of the three members who voted to keep the item, that only left Schmidt. And since he obviously wasn't in on it, that little bit of Shakespeare must have been for his benefit. But how could you know that? We could have been working with him to scare you off or something. <laughs> Right, as if anyone would let that moron in on a conspiracy. A friggin' landmine deals with pressure better than him, and would kill fewer people. Hey! Finally, <laughs> that left only one possibility. The two of you think Schmidt was the one who killed Griselda, and you planned this whole farce in order to finally scare him into confessing. Right. Look, you seem to have put a lot of thought into this. Well, someone had to. But, this whole thing still leaves me with one question. Who the hell are you? Sorry, <laughs> Pines. I entangled him in our web of flies. Why? Oh, I mean, it was very important that he. Um. Huh. Well, looks like my work is done. <laughs> I shall bid you adieu. After all, I'm sure you three have a lot to talk about. That's right, Schmidt. You were the only other person who wanted to keep the item. It had to be you. Really? That's your proof? Bandits extort people out of items all the time. Ah, a 
valid point. But tell me, do you think Schmidt would have trusted a stranger to do the job? Well, no. Well then, you must think Schmidt was skilled enough to have killed his own one on one. Or perhaps smart enough to catch unawares. Oh my god, Schmidt's not the killer. <laughs> <laughs> so then why the hell were you apologizing to Griselda? Hey, people threatened to kill me for giving Pokemon VNR a 7 out of 10. <laughs> At this point, I've learned it just a super good thing.
So I think you missed the part where they were like, we're gonna get you the help you need. Right behind this tree. Yeah, I didn't hear them say right behind this tree. <laughs> the subtitles are not working for some reason. I don't know why. So. So. What do you think? Was that just like a filler episode, basically? Well, yeah. The, the I mean, it's just... They had a cliffhanger, but it was like filler. Well, that's because, again, in the original, there was a cliffhanger, the two-part episode, filler episode, you know. Okay. So it was originally a filler episode. Most of SAO are filler episodes. <laughs> yeah. Basically. I think this one was supposed to start showing you the budding relationship between Kirito and Asuna. Yeah, because that's what it seemed like. Sure. And a murder mystery. Where no one was murdered. Oh. Until the end. Well, Griselda was murdered. But she was murdered before the mystery began. But the mystery but was that about... Was, but that, but that's no, the mystery was about too. what happened with Kynes. Yeah, but the plot... The, the, okay, look. I'm not a Scooby-Doo villain, but you know what they're going for here. I'm just saying... That bas basically all of the thing that happened with Kynes and just all of it happened because they were trying to figure out who killed Griselda. And that was the mystery. Now, do you remember who the leader of Laughing Hub was? Because this is not the first time he's been in the show. No. He was the guy from the second episode that said, when they saw, uh, what do they call him? Senior um, Fluffers? Fluffles? Yeah. The cat. The cat. He was like, oh my god, do you guys see him too? Isn't that great, Jesus? And then oh, Buddy Jesus was like, yeah. sure thing, Jeffrey. Now kill them all. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> That's one of those things when you rewatch, you go, oh! oh. Yeah, that's why we're not that kind of review channel. With all of those, like, theories and long, drawn-out things and the board where everything's got little pins in it and strings attaching everything, and we're like, it was there to begin with. Uh, well, That's why we're not close, because I don't. Two things. Did you say little pigs in it or little pins, pins. in it? Pins. I heard pigs. So like, pins. It was pins. Second like of all, if you guys haven't pins. noticed in our reactions, we aren't the most patient Sometimes getting her through one episode of this. <laughs> so you want me to have her watch it 15 times? This is not cinema sense. Even if I watched it 15 times, I would not remember. My memory is so bad. I have to put stuff in my watch to remember. I literally put milk and lemonade in my watch because I would forget. Even though we needed milk and lemonade for like three days. And I forgot about the birthday party today. It's okay. It's okay. That's where our daughter is. Uh, the kids <laughs> don't have school. Yeah, that's Teacher like, strike. It's Saturday. Well, that too. But that's why, we hadn't, that's why we haven't filmed it yet. Usually we film this stuff on Monday. But on Monday. Yeah. See, he is here with us because it's a Saturday. It's not a Monday. And Clara is not here. So. We're gonna do this and probably watch Supernatural. Yeah, because if uh, if Brandy had trouble sitting through some of these, Clara wouldn't have a chance. Would we want her to? No, not really. All right. Then. There's some stuff that would happen later on that would upset her. Yeah, she was upset earlier from Elena. Oh yeah. There was a whole thing. I'll we'll tell that. you later. Time we'll later. tell you later, and then he says, Alakazar dies. In case any of you watch Elena. Spoilers if you haven't Alakazar seen the new episode. Alakazar dies. New episode of Elena if you haven't seen it yet. Spoilers. That's Mateo's grandfather, by the way, if you were wondering. <laughs> it's right. a whole thing. But he was already dead. No, he wasn't. He, he, he used to spell he himself in to book. turn into a book. Remember, he got Before turned into a he book. Died. But that wasn't the real him, that was book him. No, it is, it real is the him. real him. He used the spell he on is himself. The book. He yes. is the book. He turned into the book. He didn't die and become the book. 
he, he became used a spell the on It would be like if I changed to shape a and became book. a dog, I would still be alive until I got hit by a car. Mm-hmm. So the book, though, was disintegrating. So he was going to disappear and actually die. But then they found a potion that they could use to make him alive again. From so the tail? Okay, 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 okay. This is not Elena. <laughs> this is sort of a line you of You asked! <laughs> anyway, another digression aside. So you liked it? You should watch Elena. I'm just saying. I liked it. I mean, it was alright. Still not my favorite show in the world. Um, but it's alright. Funny. She liked the dragon. Yeah. Dragon's gone. So I think that's it. Alright, so if you like our brain crazy, go ahead, like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. I make a joke about it existing, but I think the joke's been played out now. Oh my god, why?